Hello, welcome back to the channel. Been away for the past three days, hence the slight sun tan. Anyway, I've got home and painted this, which turned out not too bad. So watch me paint it here and talk some random nonsense as well. Don't forget to subscribe. Without further ado, let's do some painting. Hello, welcome to my latest video. I've been away, I've been away for three days, which was lovely, in uh, mid Wales, which was very nice. Lovely weather, sporting a bit of a sun tan, and I hope you've all had a nice Easter. Anyway, I'll get my palette cam turned on in a minute. I'm going to be painting on this stretch canvas. I think it's um, 20 by 16 inches, that's a guess. Yeah, 20 by 16, and we'll see what we can get onto. It's a canvas panel, not stretch canvas this time. So, um, yeah, I'll get my palette cam turned on, and I'll be back with you in just a second. Right, palette cam is on, I think. So, anyway, on this... Uh, glass palette. I've got some Prussian blue, I've got olive green, I've got red ochre, I've got chrome yellow, I've got uh, some flake white with um, a bit of primary blue which I'll just stir up, make a nice sky colour and I've got flake white on its own just there. So we'll see what we get into. I might just get a little tiny dollop of that chrome yellow just to add to that um, sky colour. I might have added a bit too much but uh, we shall see how we get on. Anyway we'll get going. I'll put my uh, main cameras on and we'll get on with the job in hand. Right then off we go. I'll um, see what this sky colour looks like. Might be a bit green actually, but um, we'll see what happens. Don't think it matters what colour you have in the sky. You get all sorts of colours. My opinion, anyway. Yeah, it is a bit green, but never mind. It'll do for me. So anyway, I'll just uh, get my brush and get a bit of olive green, a little bit of red ochre, perhaps some of that blue as well, a bit of linseed oil, and start doing. Yeah, a little bit of a landscape up. Didn't bother gessoing my canvas, I just want to get on with it. As I'm painted for three days, I'm uh, desperate to paint something. Yeah, we all keeping well. Had a lovely time away. It was a well deserved break. It's been a while since we've been away. The weather was bloody glorious over mid Wales. We don't need to go far, just. Uh, just a bit of a break, it's nice, just right. Didn't do too much while we are there, just uh, generally monged around and ate out quite a lot, which was nice. This push and blue is quite pleasant, it's not bad. My board's a bit wobbly, but never mind. We're going back to the same place we went to in about 10 days time. We loved it so much we thought oh, we'd go again. 
not that we've got a disposable income to do nice things, you know. Being a, oh, wobbly, being a painter, I don't have a great deal of money to throw about. That's a bit wobbly, that. I'm going to have to sort this out. Bear with me a minute. Mildly annoying. Anyway. Yeah, we loved it that much. We thought, oh, what the heck. We're going again. Right, a bit of a landscape on the go. I'll put some of the same colour in the sky. Nice bit of anger. Bit more Prussian blue, maybe. Check my camera's still on. Seems to be. darkness up here. I'll come back to that in a minute. Now let's have a think. Can get some uh, yellow. Just give me a palette knife a quick wipe. And the brush a quick wipe as well. Just add some of that yellow just onto the distance there let's do a bit with my palette knife as well that for now. Great. We didn't. Nothing majorly eventful happened. It's normally, bloody silly things happen to me or to us as a family. But um, yeah, it was reasonably uneventful. Yeah, we stayed on a, a farm. It was a working sheep farm and the, the whole place was full of sheep farms you know it's a big uh, sheep farming area but you could uh, you could set your watch by the sheep at uh, quarter to five every uh, day oh you know i think we how many zooming in a bit bear with me again Yeah, I'd forgotten to zoom the camera in a bit. There we are. Yeah, quarter to five. The, the local farmers would go round and feed all the sheep. And uh, the whole area, all the sheep would start going, Mah! just bleating. The whole place just sound erupted of these sheep. And, of course, you had the sheepdogs. They'd all join in as well. And it was just... Uh, Clamour of noise, you know, sheep's mering, which is quite nice, really. There's worse noises. Yeah, it's looking reasonably good. I might, um, Get some titanium white on a palette knife. <coughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> just put some there on the distance just a bit there we go a bit more like chrome yellow maybe Too bad. Let's get my long handle brush as well. Let's put some moving to cross it. Excuse the whole book banging noise. Nice movement doing that. I used to work on a sheep farm when I was about 15, I suppose, something like that. Which I really enjoyed. It was hard work, but um, yeah, it was, it was quite nice. My favourite job was feeding the sheep, you know, driving a Land Rover with hay bales in the back. Because all I had was a provisional licence, I hadn't um, passed my test or art, and the farmer used to say, oh, be right, you be grand, go off and take the bales and off I'd, off I'd go. Deposit bales of hay or whatever it was on the various fields and things where the sheep were it was quite nice check my camera again yeah keep plodding on the farmer had um, a pair of Jack Russells who were mental you know you'd be driving a tractor along but you had to be careful because these Jack Russells would be running all over the place. You had to have your eyes on stalks so as not to run over these Jack Russell dogs. And, you know, you'd be driving along and these Jack Russells would be running alongside you and you'd open the door to the tractor or Land Rover, whatever you're driving at the time, and they'd leap in. They're crazy dogs. But they were ridiculously fit because they'd, you know, they'd be running about all day. They'd be all over the place. No, it's not looking too bad. Early days. Use my fingers a bit more of this sky. Excuse my arm in the way. Yeah, the pay used to be good, you know, when I was working on the farm. Because it was, you know, cash in hand back then, and well, I was only 15 and you know, get a couple hundred quid or whatever in your pocket at the end of the week. It was nice uh, pocket money. Sometimes I wish I'd carried it on farming. and blue. That's some more linseed oil as well up there. But yeah, it's not looking too bad this. I 
I'm going to have a quick rest because my arm's hurting. Yeah, I might get some more um, chrome yellow on the go. Oh, what, what colour is this? Oh, this is um, a slightly different yellow. That's it. That's the one. Put a bit more of that on in the distance. With my palette knife. Like oil seed rape or something in the distance there. Quite nice. Quite a cool painting this. I normally tend to use warmer colours than this, but uh, I'm quite pleased. Getting there nicely. Get some of these greens and things in the sky. Greens and blues. Even the olive green works quite well in the sky. <sighs> kind of works well with the bits of push and blow. And I think we're very nearly there. A bit of red ochre gone in the sky as well, which seems to work. Oh, my arm's tired. I don't know why I haven't really done anything the past three days. Right, anyway, that's a load of bollocks, isn't it? So there might be a hell of a jump with this painting because of me not be able to use my camera properly um, anyway we'll see what happens absolute pain in the complete butt hey, three years studying photography and I still can't use a camera properly but there we go and my camera's bloody on its way out now it's uh, ancient now but I'd rather use my old camera in the studio than my all singing, all dancing new one. I don't want to get paint on it. Anyway, nearly finished. It has turned out quite well, other than the filming aspect. I think we're just about there. Right, what was I doing before I re realised my camera wasn't on? And do a bit of wiping around the sky. Perhaps create some textures in the clouds, maybe. Or maybe not, because, you know, the camera's pissed me off. I might just uh, give up with it. Yeah, it's all right being away. The only thing is coming home bogs me off a bit, but um, it is what it is. At least we're going away in uh, 10 days time. So anyway, there we go. I'm going to uh, leave that as it is and um, hopefully the film might turn out okay. So um, anyway, the painting's good, the filming's naff, so apologies for that. I hope you like, let me know in the comments. And um, don't forget to subscribe and like and all that business, if you like it, you know. Bloody is one of them, isn't it? I'm, uh, 
I'm not rolling in money, so I haven't got five grand's worth of camera to film with. But anyway, that is that. I hope you like. Um, as well as YouTube, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and johnkid.co.uk. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.